All right, here we go. So we have the Kuat. See how you pronounce it? Kuat. Kuat. Sherpa 2.0. We're going to try this as a bike carrier. And my wife is uh, loving this. This is part of her Mother's Day present. So we're going to unbox it, put it together, and see what it's all about. I'm not going to use any instructions unless they're in there. And we're going to put them together. And we're going to see how difficult this is. See how long it takes. All right, let's do this together. Okay. So here we have our instructions here. Rack packing is in the simply fixture read unbox instructions to rack packing is. All right, so this is some type of instruction manual here. Go ahead and pull that out. Let's see what we got. Here's all the parts. This is what I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a 17 millimeter wrench. Uh, oh, these are all included in here. So all of those are included in the bag. Okay, step one, remove parts box and bracing open parts box. All right, so just remove parts box. All right, here we go. First thing, remove the parts box. Whoop, that's what it says. Inside of it, there's some stuff. And then remove this bracing. That's just garbage. All right, and pull out open this up it says alrighty okay so just taking these out this out let's take out these little pieces in here now I did get this at REI so it has a one year return policy on it so we're gonna try it out for a while we don't let that fly off. That looks like an important thing. Don't let that fly off. It doesn't look like it needs to fly off. So I pulled this out and it's got a, this right here. I don't know what that is. I'm thinking this is my tool bag. Let me see here. I'll give you a little, nice little bag actually. It's tied up in a knot. There's a slip knot, so that's good. And let's see what happens. Let's, I'm guessing this is all of my tools I'm gonna need. So there's a big bolt, a very large Allen wrench. I like that. A pretty nice little thing there. Chrome Vandalium. All right, some more bolts. And big old Allen key, lock, all that stuff. Okay, interesting. Take these out. Oh, this looks like the for the for your foot there. Okay. Good and box. Good there. All right, know what we got here. Now, going to step two. Let's take the bad boy out of there. Oh, it looks like it's put it put together actually quite well, actually. So we're taking these out, I guess. All right, remove trays. Do not remove hitch assembly. Okay, so hitch assembly is still in there. So, removing one tray and the other tray, like it says. Let's, let's go ahead and take these things off of. All right, got all that off. Got a little sticker or something right there. I'll figure out that later. All right, so let's come into here. So. It said remove trays, do not remove hitch assembly. Hitch assembly is still in there. Here's our trays, okay? Number three, place trays into build position. Okay. All right, so we put it on the box. That's kind of interesting. All right, so take one of them. I guess it doesn't matter, I don't know. I'm gonna put it right there. Well, that's pretty cool. All right, and then the other one, we'll take it, put it over here, right there. All right. Well, that doesn't look right, but it does look right. Let's see here. That goes there. I don't know if that's supposed to be on top of there or not. I don't know. 
All right, so I placed them on here. Maybe it goes a little further out. All right, assembly trays, parts needed. So I need these two things. Okay, and it's got those on there, that's important, yep. And then that thing. All right, so it looks like this is gonna be in there first with the little washers there. So that goes back that way. And it's gonna slip through right there, okay. Okay, so we're gonna slip this right through there, and it looks like it should line up into there. Okay. Then I'm gonna have to twist them in there, I guess. All right, I think I can make this quicker. I've got a drill can do this, I think. All right, so it doesn't do a good job explaining how this all works, but it looks like once you get it past the threads there, it just shoves right on through here. And it should meet up right there. Push that up, that in, that in. All right, if you look down here, now you're gonna end up using this bolt right here to connect the bottom and there should be a washer in there but i don't see any washers maybe there's some washers there we go let's see if that's the right one yep these washers in here so i'm guessing one two of these washers will go in on there so let's get those out of there and then there's that other bolt for something else later all right so roll that off we'll have one washer on one side that will slip right in there. And then it should pop out over here somehow. Maybe it screws in, let's see. All right, it's kind of being a little difficult here. Let's see what we got. Looks like that may need a little Allen wrench to pull it down. That one. Let's see here. Yeah, you gotta you gotta use an Allen wrench right here. It's a little bit too tight. You can kind of do it with your fingers, just a little bit. Mm. Mm. It's trying to come through there. I feel like it's skipping or something. Let's see here. I'll work with this for a minute. So I got that pushed in, he had to, I had to screw it in. This has got the little lock wax tire, I'm not sure what you want to call it, but a lock nut right here. And now we just kind of have to, they don't give you the right size there for that, does it? Oh, they do, very good. Take it and tighten this up. Does it say how tight? All right, install the real bolt tray, it needs parts, doesn't say too how too tight or how tight, so I'm just gonna get it down snug. And we can do it more later if we need to. Okay, that's snug. 
we'll see from there if we need to do more later okay so it says to tighten these but i'm not sure i'm still kind of worried about step four got those all the way in there but i just don't know maybe it'll help if i take some of this stuff off let's see here what do we got there's this tray all right that went all the way through Okay, let's see, maybe that's supposed to go in here. It doesn't really tell me. Let's see what this is here. Ah, looky there. So that's what's going on. So that's where the Titans to is those right there. So the tape is handy. Let's hold that in there. Awesome. Okay. So we get that right there. Okay, now maybe this will just get them started. I get it, I get it. So it didn't really help you on that end. This is gonna be a bit of a pain. So we see the idea here. This gets pushed in this way, those two hook up to this right here which is through there and so this is going to take a little bit of finagling all right i can see what we got to do now so i'm going to do it put you on time lapse and i'll let you know when it's done All right, so this was the hardest part, getting this part on. <laughs> you just gotta keep working with it, it'll eventually come in. So I got the tape out of the way for this part and it slipped on there and I kind of held it on. Uh, having this type of tool really helps. The Allen wrench they gave you is nice, but you can't sit there and go back and forth. Now, my biggest worry on this, it says tied to 10 foot pounds or 20 Newton members, Newton meters here. All right, so I have a torque wrench. I may go get that torque wrench and see what that's all about because I don't, I don't want to get too tight, but I definitely don't want it to be too loose. All right, so I'll be back with my torque wrench. All right, now this is not the most expensive and fancy of all torque wrenches. You can see you put a different little Allen wrench in here, and all it does is you're moving it, you get to a certain point, it just kind of moves over. To where you need it so we're looking for 10 newton mem members here let's see what we got here i want to go mm. so that's about five bring it back out see if this side's at about five let's see that's about six all right All right, let's keep going back and forth till we get down to 10. Well, that one's getting there. It's getting there. See, this is pretty good, see? Not quite. That's, uh, there we go. All right, so let's get this going. There we go. Get it to 10. So that's 10. And I see this one. That was 10. All right, feel good about it. 10 Newton members, check one more time. Okay, so next we gotta get this, which is our, what do we call it here? Our foot pedal, what's they're calling it? A pivot handle pedal. Okay, you need that eight by 22 bolt and the eight millimeter lock washer sticking it right there it's given a little bit of a diagram of how to do it so it looks like 
it's going to go in there wherever it is right like that okay like that let's go see what we can find out it's going like so this is going to be at the top if that's the top if that's the top that's the top if that's the bottom that's the bottom if not it'll be that way so we're going to go in there like this see if we can figure it out all right now let's figure out where this is all right it didn't tell me to take it out or anything doesn't look like it'll go there let's look further up all right it's all the way up here there we go just like that it looks like it's like that i don't know about that though seem right that seems a little odd right there but all right here we go here's the bolt excuse my wires my battery started dying so i had to get some wires together charge up my my gopro here that's going in there washer like that then we're going to take that and put it right in there okay it looks like it's going to need this tiny thing right here but that's not going to work i'm going to have to take this thing pick it up a little bit that's what i have to do make it easier on me but just to be honest that does not look right I should pause right here and find out. Doesn't look right, does it? Thank y'all for watching. Like and subscribe. We're the family of adventure. And we're going to get there and have some fun. Yep, with the triangle head. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. I hope this helps.